All right, welcome back to the channel, Cyborg Pirate, CyborgPirate.com. So it's been just a little bit um, for us to get back with you. I have had to spend a lot of time in these fins to really get a feel for them. These are the Scuba Pro Jet Fin, which is the original jet fin style and original tech fin originally built for the United States Special Forces uh, dive teams and so a lot of the tech fins that are out there today have modeled after this fin and with a lot of things the original is just that the original and there's a lot of improvements made on the predecessors and so this fin has taken me a lot to get used to and at first I really was not a fan of it um, there are some things that I like and things that I don't like about the fin and and so it's it's been kind of a, a difficult testing process for me in order to find the right things first of all um, I will just tell you I am not a scuba pro fan to begin with um, and that's my own personal preference it has nothing to do with anything other than this is the only thing I own with the scuba pro name on it but so let's get back to the fin itself. So these fins, they run smaller than the, the other fins that I've tested. These require me to have an extra large. So that makes, and I only have a size 10 foot. So that makes things a little difficult for some of those folks with bigger feet. The spring strap that came with the Scuba Pros, it's way too small and it causes a lot of discomfort and so you spend a lot of money, $260 on a set of fins, and then you have to turn around and spend another $60 on a larger spring strap. Well, if I was gonna go with a larger spring strap, I was gonna get one that was going to work well with it, and as you already know, I've gone with the OMS spring strap with the thumb pull tab, which also makes it so I can put my identifier tag on there that we have already discussed in other videos. But the fin itself, um, some of the things that I don't like the, are the, the fact that I had to go a bigger size in order to get my foot to fit in this fit pocket without any pain or discomfort um, because I do spend a lot of time in the water. And so having a fin that is uncomfortable in the beginning is really painful at the end. And so getting the fins to fit and, and be comfort, comfortable from the get-go is, is imperative. Now... One of the things I don't like about this in order to go with the bigger fin, or to get the bigger foot pocket for my foot to fit in, which also means the foot pocket is wider. And so what this has done is it's created some slop in the, in the fin. And so it feels like it moves around a little bit on my foot. Now it's more of a feeling than it really is, but it was something that I found irritating during the dives until I started to get used to it and know it was there. So just a note, it didn't fit as tight or as, I wouldn't say as tight. It didn't fit as well as the other fin foot pockets did. Now, some things that I did like about it, it has a very wide paddle or blade and um, this made for some very nice ability to stop, do helicopter turns and uh, reverse kicks. Uh, this fin, I can be kicking along going at a good pace and I can use that paddle and that blade just to stop dead in my tracks right where I'm at which um, I actually found to be quite fun I started doing a lot of things underwater of swimming right up to something and then backing up in fact some of the other videos that I've put out there are a number of large bluegill that are out right now and these fins have made it really nice to where I can swim right up to them and stop on a dime and um, the fish like to sit there and hang out whatever and I'm not a threat to them but the nice part is, is this makes it if I see them I can just stop dead and don't I don't I didn't miss the fish and miss the video shot or miss the ability to kind of hang out with them and play a little bit so um, the maneuverability of these fins right now is unmatched with all of the other fins I'm testing. And so um, let's get into some of the dimensions on the fin itself. So like all the other fins, to stick with an exact pattern, what we've done is we've got, we measure from, let me slide that back so it's in the camera view, 
measure from the tip of the paddle or the blade to the tip of the uh, foot pocket and that's going to give us a measurement of 13 inches now we measure the foot pocket along the bottom and that's going to give us a measurement of eight and five eighths inches the entire fin in length is 21 and seven eighths inches the widest part of the paddle and as i said this this paddle is or the widest part of the the fin and like i said this paddle is is very wide is nine and three quarters wide it's a nice wide fin and then of course the stiffening sides two inches so that's pretty standard with the rest of them is right along right along the same lines so this fin itself in water is very heavy compared to the other fins we've tested so far it's almost double the weight this is 0.8 pounds per fin in fresh water and so uh to give you an idea of of how this fin does with a dry suit it does very well in the fact that you want the heavier fins in the dry suit to prevent to be able to control how much air gets into your feet i wouldn't say prevent it but get control how much gets in there also um, in a wetsuit, you're going to find yourself very foot heavy, and if you are used to balancing your rig and having the trim set up for a lighter fin, um, you're going to notice the difference in this fin when you put this on with a wetsuit. So um, that's it uh, for the review on the jet fin. Um, but stay tuned because we do have the side by side comparison. This one is going to be. First round is going to go up against the RK3 HDs, which is the fin that won out of the last head-to-head, -head, and that video will be coming up very soon. Thanks for checking us out. Cyborg Pirate, CyborgPirate.com. All right, the Scuba Pro jet fin in water. Point eight pounds on the scuba pro